Hello! If you make software, you should use feature flags. If you don't know what feature flags are or why to use them, then I would like just 90 seconds of your time to explain, starting now. Let's talk about light bulbs. Imagine if you had to unscrew a light bulb every time you wanted to turn it off. If you're an engineer, that sounds ridiculously inconvenient. And yet, so many engineers disable code by commenting it out. That's just as bad. They have to edit the files and redeploy them. How about configuration? Just like a fuse box, it's much easier. Look, all of the settings in one place. Under the stairs. It's definitely better. Though you'll probably need to restart, maybe even redeploy your app. If only we had some kind of switch. So let's make a light switch. I don't know how. But to add control to a running app, that's just a new component in a control panel. So that's just some HTML and an endpoint and some persistence. So you don't need a DB migration for any column. And or you could make a feature flag like this. Add the SDK to your code in a couple of lines. Then go to the launch darkly dashboard and create the flag. And then it's one line to use the flag in the code. It'll give me true or false, on or off. Let's run the code and try flipping the flag. Turn it on and off and on again. No need to restart. But it's not quite the same as a light switch. I mean, there's much less wiring. You've got lights that can be on for some people and off for others. You've got audit logs, access controls, multivariate JSON flags. You've got, oh, pants. Nearly. Anyway, uh, feature flags good. You should use them. Uh, use ours, launchdocky.com, free trial. Um, thanks. I'm yours, Brian.